Maybe hit that subscribe button, that notification bell. You're going to be missing out on videos and free prizes and raffles we have coming up. Hey friends, uh, Shane from HunterWrench.com and I wanted to, to just talk about something I feel that I did, uh, I would say wrong in a lot of the early years of my career. And that was on decision making on should I replace a part or should I bend a part back and, and reuse it and what that looks like. So in this little video, it's just going to be a really quick tip. I'm repairing some crash damage on a customer's motorcycle and they're a newer rider and they said, I'm really not interested in doing like total beautification. So we were looking at the safety stuff, obviously like turn signals, they're not going to repair uh, this body. It's in solid piece and we'll be able to mount to the motorcycle good. Um, but the, the shifter was bent, um, didn't have any lever damage, but what I really want to talk about is uh, levers and linkages and bending them back. So it's really common, and, and I'd be a liar to say that I haven't bent a lot of levers back. I went, oh, it's not that bad, and, and, and really this is a great example because it's pretty thick, right? What I want, to, want you to think about, or what I want to encourage you to think about is when you bend metal, you know, back and forth and back and forth, it obviously weakens it, okay? So the problem with buying like wrecked bikes, fixing bikes and doing all that, uh, you may not know like how many times it's been bent or how weak it might be. Next thing, you know, is it falling off, going through a tire, going through someone's windshield, so on and so on, go to grab a gear and it's not there, all kinds of bad things. But I, I think where people really go wrong is they go, ah, oh, I'm not going to waste the money. And I think the huge mistake I made in my career was I always just made these like dumb assumptions, if you will, like this was a crazy expensive part. So uh, because I don't remember and I'm making this video, I'm going to put them up here in the corner and show you the price of these. I do know that for a customer's bike, this isn't an option for me. Uh, if it's bending it to get it home on a ride, that's, you know, that's one thing. And then making that assessment, of course, is it safe? But as far as like, am I going to bend something back and take that risk as a shop and, and have to worry about that? It's just not an option for me. But I'm going to say this. The reason I want to make this video is I was just reminded it, how inexpensive, you know, sometimes these parts can be. And when you look at you know, labor versus repair versus replace or things like that. This is an extremely easy thing to uh, replace. Matter of fact, the rubber is only a few bucks, I think, for memory. So it's not even worth digging this one off and it's it's rashed anyway. It's very, very, very inexpensive. Pop this on go and I don't have to worry about that. I don't have to um, also uh, assume that, oh, you know, this joint, this, you know, this ball joint feels good, but is it really good? All that, you know, it's just make it new and it's, and it's good to go. Now, I understand that repairing motorcycles is just that it's repairing motorcycles. And we're going to make those decisions on what, you know, what makes, makes sense. I mean, that's what we do as technicians. Like, you know, should we replace or should we repair it? So I, I just think this is a worthy conversation and I hope it gets you, uh, you know, just thinking about, you know, what are what are the parts that should be kind of no brainers, especially for a service shop that's doing it for a customer, but even for yourself. Um, you know, I when I think about levers, probably where I really learned this lesson, you know, super, super, super important when I was young. I mean, I was like in my twenties. There's <clears throat> a friend of mine on his dirt bike, he was an awesome, awesome rider. Uh had a, a lot of things going for him or whatnot. But he crashed his uh dirt bike and he bent his lever back, no big deal or whatnot. But the next time he crashed, this ball had broken off. And then as the bike kind of flipped around, this ended up coming and landing on him and piercing his spleen. Because and now with that broken off piece, it was this razor sharp point. And I remember being, uh, you know, in my in my early 20s thinking, holy smokes, I would have never in a million years thought about that, you know. And so especially it kind of cracks me up in the chopper scene where a lot of people put razor sharp spleen points and things i'm like ah kind of makes me nervous right away uh i've seen foot pegs that are ground down that are crazy dangerous to uh to pierce you in an accident anyway that was my tip of the day i hope you appreciate it make sure and like share subscribe if you've got a friend that you think would benefit from this that's maybe bending all their stuff and wrecking a lot you might want to share this video with them as always my friends like share subscribe make it a great day and keep wrenching hey friends we're super excited to announce that the how to wrench channel has been approved for memberships What's that mean for you? What would it look like if you could get member-only content? 
Many of you have been asking over the last year as we've put out surveys and, and tried to get some feedback that you missed the old deep dive long videos and the, the real uh, explain content. Those are very hard to produce and they're very costly. They take an immense amount of time, especially to make it uh, creative and interactive for you to get that deep understanding. We have a lot of schools, institutions, do-it-yourselfers. I mean, really people from all over the world, over 200 countries, are using our content to get a deep understanding to uh, help themselves or to advance in their career. Well, those videos are coming back. That's the kind of content that's gonna go in this membership channel because we can offset some of those costs. So that's one, you're gonna get the deep dive videos. Two, you're gonna get access to member-only streams and live chats to where you can actually call in, ask questions and get answers on the spot and have a, a back and forth uh, Q&A session with other members as well. We're super excited about that. And with the member, channel it's going to really make it more intimate we're going to be able to bring that back into more of a of a community instead of all the yahoos out there that are just causing trouble and being idiots this community has always been about helping each other and uh getting those answers to the questions we need i mean you, you gotta remember i love youtube too when i want to learn something it's quite often one of my first go-to places to get information or to learn something that i'm trying to do so we, we love that we can do this for you as well and we just want to make this of a community that is, is more attentive. So we wanna be more relationship focused. That's a big thing of the memberships. The other thing is, uh, YouTube does this, I think it's kind of funny, but uh, we're doing the emojis. So if you're a new member, it's gonna be a green one. We kind of went along the lines of like uh, training does in most uh, certification programs. Bronze is your entry level, uh, silver is your middle of the road, and then gold is your you know top certified. But we added one more. We added a red one just to say, hey, thanks for all the love after you've been here for a while. So for all you that love that kind of stuff, hey, it's there for you. Um, what else are you going to get with this? What you're going to get is really honestly, in my opinion, it's really a way just to say thank you. We've tried really hard over the years to figure out creative ways to not beg, if you will, but to try and encourage and remind people that, hey, I, I got a full-time job. Like I do this and have always done this on my own buck. All these expenses are my own. Uh, as I move to this new location, Phoenix, it's really expensive. We got a building, insurance, uh, you know, it, we got everything. So uh, it costs a lot to be able to do all this. And we really do need your help to offset some of that. So this is a way for you to really easily just say thank you and create that, you know, like I said, that deeper relationship with us as well to get the answers that you want and you need. So with that being said, I hope this has caught your attention. I hope you thought, man, that's really a great idea. Uh, look at the options below on the join. You hit that join button. It'll tell you what tiers. You can figure out what works best for you and what attracts you. It's a great way to get some uh, discounts on merchandise as well too. But hey, we are going to get back at it. We're super excited about this. We're just already going to start moving forward making content that's member only. So those, those videos we were just talking about. But my friends, Whatever you're doing, be safe. We know 2020 has been a crazy year out there. So I hope that you're working on something that's making you smile or that you're getting through it or that's making you money. So we're going to get back at it. But as always, make it a great day and keep wrenching.